Hey guys, today we're tasting the same wine out of five different glasses to see if it makes any difference. So yeah, we have uh, Grenache. <laughs> All right, let's try it. So, so yeah, we'll work from right to left. Yep. Um, I introduced the glass. This is a Sauvignon Blanc glass. They all read all glasses. This is a Sauvignon Blanc, so aromatic white wine glass. Um, we just wanted to try it with a red, just to make sure it doesn't make sense and exclude the glass altogether. The wine smells very good in the glass. Yeah, what's interesting about Grenache is that it can often be um, quite confected, um, particularly grown in, in the New World uh, in a warm climate. Um, so it's interesting, what we're really looking for here is the difference in fruit versus those um, more sort of secondary spice-driven uh, notes that you get with the Grenache as well. I really like the, the wine in this glass overall. I think it lacks a little bit of roundness. On the palate, it yeah, it comes just... across a little bit more like a white wine. How it drinks, yeah, but aromatically, I think it's it's great. Um, but I guess it has to do with the or with the size of the bowl, but also the the size of the rim, the width. Um, it just concentrates the aroma a lot more. See, so, yeah, so. generally with the the wider rims at the top, it allows the wine to communicate more flavors. So yeah, having a look at the second glass, which is a standard Shiraz glass, a wider bowl and a wider rim, just generally a bigger glass. So. It definitely smells a lot spicier in this in the Shiraz glass compared to the floral Sauvignon Blanc glass. Might also have to do with um, just the wine warming up at a different pace. I really like the, the nose of the second one a lot. So, yeah, for me, I just out of these two that we, we drank so far, I'm preferring the second one. It's, it's given me a bit more, um, as Marco touched on, more of those spice characteristics, but still um, great richness of fruit on the palate. Okay, so now trying something completely different. This is a Pinot Noir glass. It's a, a New World Pinot uh, glass. So it has this sort of different shape um, to it, which is a wider bowl at the bottom that sort of comes in towards the towards the rim a lot to concentrate the aroma of what usually is a more delicate and floral um, wine. And yeah, what do we think? Do you like it? Straight off the bat, um, in comparison to the last Shiraz glass, definitely a lot more floral notes. Um, particularly on the palate for me, it's it's really delicate. Um, yeah, and quite sort of elegant and, and feminine on the palate. I'm not convinced with the nose overall, because I, I was getting a lot more from the Shiraz glass. It has to do maybe with the volume uh, of wine as well. I don't think there's mm. quite enough wine in, in the big Pinot glass. Um, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't smell as good to me, but it still smells very good. It, it doesn't smell confected. I was almost sure it was going to smell a lot more candied and... Yeah. Uh, This might be a little bit geeky, but the the delivery on the palate on the on the tongue is also different. Um, they are designed to hit different parts of your tongue. Yeah, so definitely different from the Shiraz glass overall. Uh, I'm, I'm not convinced. I think at the moment I'm still on Shiraz glass, um, which is also what we're trying next. Just a different range uh, from Riedel. So instead of doing the Veritas. I think um, yeah. Shiraz glass. New World Shiraz. We're going for a Wine Wings, which is a, a new range, um, supposedly delivering a bit more of a secondary, tertiary flavor profile. So it should be spicier in this, but this is a Shiraz glass, and we're trying Grenache. Yeah, I'll try and show you guys it a, a bit more in detail. So it has that sort of lip, and yeah, when you first open a wine and you first take a sip from a glass, What's lost initially is that really delicate floral side of the wine. So the lip's supposed to help sort of subdue that and retain it to give you yeah, 
um, more of a, a push from those secondary, savory, um, more earthy tones. And I'm not sure how this works at all. I don't even know if I'm making this up, but it seems like in this glass in particular, the structure is a lot different. The wine is much tighter and more tannic and, and just firmer structured. Yeah, it's, it smells very different to me. It's yeah, a lot more savory, a lot more spicy and earthy with quite yeah, rich sort of broody fruit. I do like the, the more savory nose to it, but I'm not sure it's supported by enough fruit on, on the nose in particular. And then the palate is very structure driven, whereas yeah, the previous I, ones were more generous. I also found it slightly sour as yeah. well on the palate. Right, yeah. last one. Last one is the same uh, range from Rito, um, just a Pinot Noir or Nebbiolo glass. So it goes back to pretty much the difference between the second and the third glass. So exactly the same, just a different range. Uh, this is a massive glass. This is probably the biggest yeah. glass. You can fit, oh. we have tried, you can fit a full 750ml bottle in here. And yeah, I think it shows on the nose because the wine is a little bit lost. And we didn't pour much, um, maybe that's the, the problem. What I get is incredible and elegant, and it's not confected at all, which was my worry, but you don't get a lot compared to the smaller glasses. There's a character to this that is a little bit different from anything else, really. It's more, it's not even spicy, it's more, just more earthy. Yeah, I get a bit more pepper coming through there. But yeah, on the palate, particularly comparing that to the last, and also <laughs> Big D's coming in. Wait, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think structure-wise, this is probably the best glass. The wine is just more in tune, but I'm not sure about yeah, aromatics and, and palate. Yeah, flavor-wise. For me, it'd probably be the second and the fifth to probably do a bit more wine in just to do a further comparison. But yeah, interesting exercise and I guess does really show how different wine can be perceived through different shaped glasses. I think it also has to do with the, the situation. In a, in a tasting where you got more time to think about the wine, I'd probably go for the Pinot in a more sort of, I don't know, informal situation. I'm just enjoying the wine at home. I would go for the Shiraz. And yeah. overall, I think this is my favorite tasting in a cellar door. If we were to present this wine to somebody, I'd probably go with this because it's just more in your face and, and very showy yeah. and yeah. very easy to appreciate. There's a lot more delivered to, you know, to the nose. And yeah, yeah. I guess the glance that you get <clears throat> from yeah, this glass of the wine is a lot more intense than anything else. Not as elegant though. So yeah, I think we've got a winner which is the Shiraz glass. Yeah, I'm in agree on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And ultimately as well, yeah, it's very personal, um, preference dependent. And at the end of the day, you might just like drinking wine out of a glass that looks cool. So yeah, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> um, thank you for watching. Catch you next time. See you guys.